Okay, people are asking where is Comet Ellen and has it disintegrated? And um, I'm going to explain what's going on with it. Okay, um, I'm going to run the diagram here real quick. Um, and well, it went a little bit too fast. <laughs> I don't want it to go that fast. But um, okay, we're going to see it coming in. And here's Earth right here. Here's Mercury. Now, Mercury, we haven't seen in a while. It was going to be showing up on sec September 2nd. I'll show you that. All right. So um, right now, Mercury is not visible because it's between us and the sun. Okay. And then they're saying Mercury's gone too. That's how stupid it is. <laughs> it's just, it's not gone. You ne never see Mercury. That's really fun when you see Mercury. Um, it, and so now, around September second, Mercury is farthest from the sun that we could possibly see it. But the problem is, it you can only glimpse it like early in the morning. Okay, so I I missed it. I don't want to get up in the morning just to see a stupid planet, right? <laughs> Maybe I'll see it in fall when it shows up in the nighttime. Okay, now here comes Comet Ellen, and it's getting harder to see. See, because here's the sun, it's getting harder and harder to see. They're able to observe it on this day, September 3rd, but it's out of the visibility of the stereo B right now. And so now uh, it's really hard to see it on the, uh, on the uh, uh, telescopes. They might catch a glimpse of it, though, but don't count on it, okay? But they have taken pictures of it on September 3rd, and this was after people it had said it had disintegrated. Okay, so we zoom forward, and uh, now we go a few weeks from now, and it's going to be right in front of Earth, okay? Now, people say, oh, this is a kill shot. It's going to cause the end of the world and all that. That's the silliest thing I've ever heard. Comets and objects like Mercury and Venus pass in front of the Earth, and nothing happens all the time. And it barely even has a tail. They even say it, some people even say it doesn't have a tail. But if you see my videos, you're going to see that it's got a tail. Okay, so we're not going to start seeing it again until probably mid October, like around here. And uh, then it might become, if it still survives, it might be kind of come visible to the naked eye around October 18th. It could become quite spectacular. I don't know. We don't know yet. But as you can see, uh, you know, this course of time, it's going to be most visible. But it's not going to hit the Earth. The distance it comes to the from the Earth is going to be uh, Earth distance 0.241 AU. Okay, that is the distance from the Sun to the Earth is one astronomical unit, okay? The distance it is from the sun is one astronomical unit here, and that's the plane of the Earth, so that gives you an idea. Just how far is 0.24 astronomical units? Well, Venus is about the same distance, about a quarter of an astronomical unit from the Earth. Do we complain about Venus being too close to us all the time? No. Okay, so even if these guys are really sloppy in their calculations of where Comet Ellen is going to go, the chances of us hitting Earth or impacting Earth is very slim. And and people use this diagram to prove that Comet Ellen has, has uh, caused all these earthquakes and whatnot, yet they refuse to believe that its trajectory is what it is, or sometimes, you know what I mean? So in other words, if you believe that it's accurate as far as portraying earthquakes, then you should believe it's accurate as far as where it's going to go. It's not going to hit the Earth. This is the most insig insignificant comet. It, it's really insignificant. It's not a big deal at all. It's just people have made a big deal about it. People have just built one false precept on top of another. Now they're saying it's vanished. Now they're saying that that now they're saying that when it this happens on September 25th is when the end of the world comes. Everybody has their own predictions. It's like they're gambling or something. They're kind of, they're, oh, I got a prediction. I, well, that's really careless because you're a false prophet if you make a false prediction. My prediction is this, this is just an ordinary comment, and I don't think that's a false prediction because I don't have any reason to believe it's anything other just to, than just a comet. It's not visible to the naked eye, so it's not biblically qualified to be a sign until it actually is visible right around here then you might be a sign if it you know shows up but it's just going to look like a comet you know so that's my comet update from Harmono uh, and I uh, hope you can see the light here <laughs>